Pokemon with you, and here is another uh, Poke haul. So, we got a uh, figure and cards. So, as you can probably tell by now, it's just from J underscore the underscore Pokemon underscore lover underscore sales. There's lots of underscores there. Okay. So. I'm just gonna nip this. Okay. This is So there's the cards, and here's the figure. So, originally, I wasn't going to do the, uh, you know, figure until, you know, but since I was, because uh, it was like 14 for uh, postage, because that's the, uh, you know. Anyway, so here's the figure. I'm just gonna take off the little crummy bits. Yeah, it's the phone that smelled weird when I uh, briefly <coughs> uh, took a peek inside the package. Boom, that smelled weird. Anyway, I'll just take that off so I can put this in the recycle box. Because I don't think you can recycle something, so. Boom, goes in the trash can. Alright, so here is the figure. And the thing is, my fingers. First up is the Froki. There you go. I might as well, because I don't have one, so. Next up is the Ho-Oh. It's from it's the, uh, was it premium collection of some sort, but uh, it was a uh, U.S. figure only, and they didn't, obviously, with double standards that the U.K. doesn't get figure boxes much of anything. We only get jumbo cards. So, and it was a legendary and I wanted that for, you know, anyway, so that's that. And here we have a whole stack of cards. Ooh. Wow. Okay, so. Let's see if we can uh, at least take it off. I should have cut the top bit first. Okay. Tape, tape. How many of tape these days? Not really. Okay, so 
Uh, I think it was like a, uh, was like a, I bought a, a bundle of stuff. It was a bundle thing. That's why there's so many cards. Okay, so... Ooh, oh my... Jungle Spiro. A... Well, I have no idea what that set symbol is, but here's a spinner rank. tips off the rest of these ones. I'll, I'll go back to the one in the top left in a sec. So we got a Tangela base set. Got a Bill base set. Got a Staryu Arbok fossil. Gaslight fossil. Seedra fossil. A base Midoran. A jungle Bell Sprout. Okay, there's some other cards in that one. Am I missing her? Okay, hang on. Oh no. There's another cards in it, it was just grouped together. Okay. I'm losing my mind. Okay, I'm a jinx. Very creepy. Magmite. Growth. Magmar. Weedle. Weedle. A double wheel. Pokedex. Dunsparce. That looks like it's like pancake drawn, doesn't it? <laughs> Ivysaur. Fat Pikachu base set too. Hmm. Nice condition too. Pokey fruit. And Jigglypuff. Another bit Dunsparce. You just put that with that one. Okay. So. Grabler, Marowak, Super Rod, Magnemite, Growler, Base of Two Trimander, cool, Rhyhorn, Ghastly, I mean, not oh, as a, I was thinking about the Ghastly from the same set, and this is up in the corner there, but this is Haunter, okay, another Rhyhorn, Oh, I seem to have missed it. Here's a light machoke. I hope I didn't miss any others. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got a defender. Pidgey. Jungle uh, Eevee. Golding Cloister Nidoran. Um, As you can tell, male and female are both different. Okay, so the thing in here... Uh, it's a jumbo amount of tape. I mean, look at that. Okay. I think I might keep some of the tape on. I mean, it's all so sticky sticky. Okay. Whoops, I missed. the top. And this one is in pretty mint condition. Bubble sword base set. I mean, look at it. Pretty minty fresh. Awesome. So that is from Jay. Awesome.
awesome. I mean, like, totally awesome, awesome. Quite a good old school collection here. Am I even on the camera? Okay. <laughs> See, that was the one I was thinking of. Anyway, yes, that is, that is it. So all of these, with uh, that and that, I'm just putting it for a picture here. Anyway, totally cool. I'm not really one to really collect old school much because I don't I don't focus on the old school stuff. Cause I don't know why I just don't very much. But I do like some of them. A lot of them. So yeah, that is basically it. So let's do that like that. Put that there. I can take a picture of it. Anyways, so that is it for the first part. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more. Ring the doorbell for notifications. Over and out. This is from Tumordomini underscore collector on Instagram, but I think he mainly sells on his eBay, so I bought it from his eBay. But here is what I bought. And he included a freebie, it looks like. So this is what I bought. The legendary Pokemon stamped Suicune. So on the uh, Pokemon website, it said you can get it from, man, what was that store? Uh, Waterstones, but when I messaged them, they never actually got back to me about it. So I never went to check. Obviously, because also, the nearest Waterstones is like in Cardiff, and that's like, I don't go out much, and if I had to go out and it's not there, it totally waste waste their time because it takes like 30 to an hour to get there on the bus, so. Now I won this on his uh, auction listing. I mean, this is awesome. So pretty. And it is the um, Lost Thunder artwork, I believe. That's great. Now I've got three legendary Pokemon stamped cards. Sweet. Now the uh, freebie that he put in here is one card here. And it is this a Jingle O with a stamped EB Games. So I'm guessing that's their um, Australian game store. What it's called, I guess, maybe? Here's the next part in Mini Puppy Hall number eight. As you see, I bought this from Rowan Ross. Her Instagram will be in the description below. And to, uh, let's get this open first, shall we? People do love their tape these days. Oh, 
nice. And by the way, I also uh, bought some Yu-Gi-Oh cards from her too, I think. So. I'm not sure why I bother taking this other tape off because it just makes the whole thing so sticky. But uh, we shall see. As I is just, I just can't help it. <laughs> if I see something like sticking up, I need to take it off. It's just a, it's just a thing. Some of the Pokemon stuff, and well, two of the Pokemon things. And that's, there's a tape on here. There. And here. Right. So this lovely card here. Cards. Here we have a very pretty unknown um, D, is it? Possibly. And an unknown Y. I think it's a Y anyway. I mean, it looks like a Y. And here we have. Which I never actually got, I don't think, so. And it's a pink ditto, I mean, in the shape of a Pikachu. Wait, who can this is? So those are those two. So here are the Yu-Gi-Oh books. for hire. I'm mm, not really too bothered about these ones. They, they do look kind of cool, but um, I have quite a few for hire cards from the uh, what's that was it? It wasn't Shadows and Valhalla, was it? What was the other one? Anyway, from the booster box they opened, so I just wanted to, you know, complete a little bit more of the section. Here we have the Cool, pretty. Morgan, the Enchantress of Avalon. And that would go very well with my Noble Knight section of my cards. Or I put it in the section of spell ca Spellcasters, because I do have a section for them too. Ooh, decisions, decisions. And here we have Galatea, the Orcust Automaton. I thought that was pretty cool. And like, it kind of does remind me a little bit of uh, Seraph of the End anime as well. With the scythe and all that, but still, it's really pretty too. And we have a Mystric Holder. Extra Foolish Burial, since I have Foolish Burial and... Was there another version of that? Because I'm pretty sure I have, well, I have the Secret Rare version. Super rare version. I was an ultra rare version. But anyway, I got a few versions of that, so I thought this would go nicely. And yeah, so that is all for these. I especially like these two. They're really pretty. And this guy does look pretty cool. Oh, is he a wolf? Possibly. Anyway, cool, cool. 
so guys. I think you you guys really good like people. Um, yeah. Artwork. I'm still not too sure whether to start actually really collecting the hollow versions of these because I'm already, I'm already collecting the normal version and the reverse hollow version, so I don't know if I should start collecting the hollow version too. I'm not really sure. But I do have like four or five now, so I'm not sure. I mean, like, out of 26 of the alphabet plus two exclamation mark and a question mark. We'll see how much they cost too, I guess. Anyway, lovely lovely. So that ends this section, though I think I had more Yu-Gi-Oh cards in this Poke Hall than Pokemon in this little section. But who cares? It's all TCG. All lovely expensive hobby as it is. So I said, go check out her uh, Instagram. I will put it in the link below. She has two. She made a separate one recently for her Yu-Gi-Oh! sales. So I'll put that in there as well. But she does have a link to that in her profile, in her normal one anyway. So I don't know if I'll put a link for that or just her normal main profile. I don't know. Anyway, this would be the third part, I believe, in this Poke Hall. So, I think one, one or two more parts for this video, then I can edit it. So yes, anyway, then that is it. On to the next part. Here is the last part of my mini Poke Hall uh, number 8, and technically this is Yu-Gi-Oh! But since I already had Yu-Gi-Oh! in the previous person, I thought, why not? And considering otherwise it'll be like way after Christmas and I'll be recording this. Because I got this one in like today and that's like the 21st, um, isn't it? Yes, 21st today, and uh, obviously this will be uploaded after Christmas because video number 7 will be uploaded on the 24th. So, anyway, but, you know, anyway, um, this is not a deal with cards, but these are the uh, stamps that he uh, used. And like, here's the one horse open the sleigh, a uh, Christmassy one. And here's like the uh, jolly old St. Nicholas. And this one, I think my favorite one, is Christmas cookies. I really like the stamp. I mean, I don't collect stamps. If I, you know, if I get them as like this, views, and uh, like, to send something to me, yeah, I'll keep them, put them in with the, uh, my scrapbook, like, but, obviously this is from the pen, paddle in my head, I had to write it down, because I forgot who I bought these from, <laughs> but, hmm, now I can also sign this, uh, tea bag, so, I will, uh, I guess, cut it out and stick it on that, I guess. You know, always a team bag, but still. It's not even doing anything else with it. Okay, so these are the cards I got. So here is the Blue Eyes White Dragon. I'm sure I actually have this, but I can't remember where I put it. Because <laughs> the last one I looked through my Blue Eyes cards, I couldn't remember. Here's Tyrant Ring. Rider of the Storm Winds. Now I know I don't have that one. Kaiba Moon. 
mausoleum of white. I thought that was pretty cool. Now here are the uh, Gaia cards, because I've got like a whole page of them. So I thought it would be nice to add to my collection. So we've got Gaia, the Fierce Knight. And Gaia Saber, the Lightning Shadow. Well, that sounds cool. Gaia Dragon, the Thunder Charger. And Arisen Gaia, the Fierce Knight. On his original purple horse thing. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I do have his. But, uh, clear curry though. Got a curry vault here. And a hollow white left. Yeah, that's a normal curry vault. And this is a super rare curry vault. Okay. <laughs> Another super rare one. Here's a detonate. And hello, hello. Like the Halloween pumpkin. So cute, isn't it? Because like, doesn't even know how that means pumpkins. Don't know. Anyway. So yeah, those are these cards. So, um, yeah, it's not real. That's really to say about it. But, um, check out their uh, page, written obviously in the link in the description below. And, I do still have to get around to putting up the Spirit Warrior cards for sale on my page, don't I? But, uh, yes, I will probably put up a Tyrant Ring for sale as well, and maybe Kaiba then, depends if I have it already. But those two are the only one, well, besides maybe a couple Karibos, so I'm pretty sure I have some of those. But, anyway. Thank you for watching. Ring the bell for notifications. Over and out.